Hello everyone, this is Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming, and today I'm reviewing Criminal Girls Invite Only for the PlayStation Vita. This is a remake of the PlayStation Portable game, and it's finally being released to North America and Europe. Now, first off, this game is a dungeon crawler RPG, and I know a lot of you guys think that I don't like dungeon crawlers. I do like dungeon crawlers, I just don't like ones that suck and that aren't good. This one... I actually enjoy it. For the story, I'm only going to reveal a little bit of the beginning of the game, so then you can decide if you want to play it or not. And I'm also doing this because I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Your character is hired as a new prison guard slash caretaker of a few different delinquent girls. And according to the game, they haven't done anything yet to get them sent to hell, but basically they're going to eventually do something wrong is what the game tells you at the beginning how i would describe this world in hell is that it's a rehabilitation center for damned soul and like i said you're basically like a caretaker prison guard type of person but you're really guiding these girls to redemption some of that redemption includes spanking them to motivate them to fight which is very strange and there's a lot of different little things that make this game M for Mature but I'd still say it, there should be like an in-between T for Teen and M for Mature because this is really not that bad of a game I don't think it's that bad to be M for Mature but then again for a 13 year old I don't think it should be T for Teen either so there should be like a middle ground of what the rating should be the dungeon crawling RPG style it is is kind of like Pokemon the original Pokemon where you, where you roam around and you're a little tiny character on the screen, which is much better than a first person view in my opinion. And I enjoyed it a lot. It brought me back to memories of Pokemon when I played it on the Game Boy Color and roaming around like that. And the girls follow you. There are four trials of the redemption program. Also, you have to listen to the girls and you have to choose specific choices for that girl if you're listening closely. You can easily decide which choice is the right choice for her. Continue your progress. And there's also many different skills, spells, and combo attacks that each girl can use. There's also a touch gameplay aspect of the game where you can uncover unique personalities about each character through a one-on-one -on -one motivational session. And what this requires you to do is use the front and rear touchpad and you will fulfill the girl's special request in order to find out more about their dark past. It's really interesting. I wasn't expecting to like it at first because uh, when I heard it, it was another dungeon crawling game by NIS, but this one works good. The graphics are eh, okay for being a Vita game at this price for 40 bucks from a game that was originally released in 2010 to being a 2015 game remade. I believe the original had more sexual content in it, and this one I think is not as sexual. But then again, I guess they didn't want it, they wanted it to be released in as many countries as they can, so they might have cut out if there was anything like that. I'm not sure completely on that, but from my understanding, is I thought I had friends that had this game before, and there was more sexual content. In it. The game voice acting, it's all good. It Sounds like clear Japanese. The voice actors sound fine in my opinion. They didn't annoy me too much. There is no English in this game other than the subtitles. Like they'll show all the words and text in English, but there's no English language in the game. They all speak in Japanese. It would be nice if they had English language in the game, but like I said, it is like a five-year-old 2010 game, and that would require a lot of voice actors, and it's not going to be as popular of a game as Disgaea or as Disgaea or Persona, anything like that is not going to be as popular as those games. Like I said, the gameplay, you get to choose between which girl, what the, each one does. If, even though the girls don't have a particular class or individual role they are actually set up that way but the game doesn't really say they are and this is actually good because you can use each girl in a certain situation for doing something different in the battle as for the game's new improvements it does have the english tech it has at least two new playable characters it includes brand new scenarios and also new levels finally the graphics and the special effects in the game all have been revamped so overall i thought this was a really nice remake of a game that i've never played before but i have seen 
some of my friends play it in the past. Overall, I thought it was a solid remake of a PlayStation Portable game. It has a good amount of new features. The visuals look really good on the Vita screen. And it's also nice that they use some of the touchpad capabilities of the Vita. And I liked how they used that instead of not utilizing the touchscreen, which a lot of companies ignore. The dungeon crawling is great in this game. It's, like I said, it's similar to like a Pokemon or Zelda dungeon crawling type of game. Original Zelda, not the new. The Japanese voice acting is solid. And this game also supports PlayStation TV. If you download it, you can just plug in your card into your PlayStation TV. You don't even need a Vita, you can play it on that, which is also pretty great. Some dislikes of this game, there's really not too much replayability. So if you want to go back and do the game again, you can, but it's really not rewarding at all. Like I said, the graphics are good, but they could be a little better with the environments and everything. The story of the game is okay, but not the best. Another positive is the gameplay. I like the gameplay. It was different, unique, and each character has different roles. So overall, I'd give this game a 7.5 out of 10, which is a good score. It's not a terrible game. It's not a great game. But I think it's a good game. And if you have a PlayStation Vita and you're looking for a dungeon crawler, this is a good one. If you guys would like to buy the game, don't forget to use the Amazon link below. And also check out more gameplay of this game on my channel. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. See ya.